Hi and welcome, it's the Stamp Around UK vlog hop and we're focusing on foil today or this month and I'm going to be using the Love You Always foil sheets and they come in blush, Blushing Bride, Rococo Rose and Sahara Sand but obviously because they're foiled they kind of take on this other kind of otherworldliness it's so pretty so I'm also using the dies from that Love You Always suite it's called the Floral Heart dies and I've decided to pair it with this uh, pool party and I've run it through the brick embossing folder to get that lovely texture on the back I'm also using some Rococo Rose and I went ahead and cut out a few bits and pieces just to make this video a little bit quicker so I cut out the banner also from that set and some pretty little flowers and leaves and some cute little hearts. Now the wonderful thing about sort of speciality papers like foil or glitter or anything like that is that you know you can make your own really gorgeous embellishments for your card making so although initially they may seem a little bit on the you know pricey side actually when you divide it up and cut it up you're only using quite small pieces per card. So here I'm using uh, the stamp set, sorry, uh, the stamp from the stamp set His Love and it's it says His Love Never Fails but I wanted to stamp Love Never Fails so I masked it off and then removed the mark, sorry, inked it up then removed the mask. So I'm just going to talk through that again. I put my mask on and then I'm going to mask off the word at the top as well, His and then grab ink and I'm using Knight of Navy, remove the mask and then stamp down. There we go. But uh oh, made a mistake. <laughs> so thankfully I'd cut a second piece and uh, aimed it a little bit more carefully this time to get it in the right place. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm not going to show you doing it all again. So then I used the sponge, uh, the brushes not sponge brushes and again put some of that knight of navy on there just to highlight the folds uh, because it folds in this beautiful way to create this lovely 3d banner so here's now when the kind of foil magic happens uh, did you know you can use your stampin blends to color in the foil and it remains nice and shiny which is what i love about using the the alcohol pens for this so i'm using mossy meadow to go around all that lovely kind of very detailed filigree. I mean, there's no way I'd spend time cutting this all out by hand. So it's great to have the dies to be able to do this. And I color in all the green ones and then decided I want a bit of pink on the flowers, but mm, magenta madness is a little bit too pink for the card that I want to do. So I got the dark Rococo Rose and just colored in over the pink magenta madness and it kind of like disappeared into the foil it was it worked fine so this is a great way of using up if you've got the sort of lighter foils like the silver or the champagne gold or anything like that um, it's a great way to add more color to your projects so these little flowers i decided i wanted to um I stuck the gold, the, the foil parts with a little bit of a pink backing on them so that um, you could actually see them a bit more clearer. And then I put some of that Knight of Navy around the edge of my brick embossed cardstock. So I was very careful when I was applying the, gold, the glue to make sure that it was on some of the thicker areas, so like where the leaves are. And then I stuck the heart with just three dimensionals to give it more dimension. Okay, so then when it came to sticking the banner on, I decided to layer up three dimensionals all on top of each other because it does protrude away from the card and I didn't want you know when I post this I do not want it to be get too flat so putting three dimensionals helped to uh, stick it up so that it would keep its lovely shape so you know it's worth having a look at your projects when you're doing more 3d work to see um, where things need to be 
Right now I did consider cutting out all this gluing and sticking but I've decided to keep it in and for this reason um, I wanted to show you how using a combination of wet glue and dimensionals um, can help for you, you when you're trying to do quite intricate projects like this. So when you've got little leaves that have got tiny weeny little stems yes it is easier to use the wet glue however sometimes it you have end up having more glue than you need but if you've got a flower then to stick on top of it you can then hide all that wet glue underneath um, it also means that if you put a, a blob of glue and you've got two or three leaves you can use that same one blob of glue and spread it around a bit and attach your leaves now and the reason why I, I sort of describe this is because sometimes we can end up using too much glue and end up with a very sticky project and we don't really want that to happen because you know when you're posting it we don't want the card to actually stick to the envelope uh, before the recipient gets it so be very careful when using wet glue you, you often need less than you think um, and if you do get too much on it then try and maybe cover it up with something else um, and make sure it's not squirting out from um, from underneath your project Anyway, hope that makes sense. So then I decided to use those tiny little hearts, almost like embellishments, just sort of scattered around the place like you would um, sequins or little gems. And I just love how the shininess of that pink um, is just so pretty and is just contrasted against that sort of the blue behind. So I'm using my take your pick tool just to, you know, it's almost like a third finger a third hand really because it's got that lovely little sticky nib on the end and it just makes it easier to stick things down so I had a quick look at what I'd done and realized I fancied putting another little leaf up in that top left corner because that, that part of the heart looks a little bit bare so I realized I had these tiny little leaves to come out from underneath that butterfly so incidentally the butterflies were cut from the butterfly oh they're not called butterfly brilliance but it's the dies that go with the butterfly brilliance uh, stamp set so then i wanted to add more foiling but i only wanted a very fine thin strip of it so i didn't want to waste a whole five and nearly five and a half by five and a half inches of foil so i cut out a massive square from inside so that i can use that for another project and then mounted it uh, with that really beautiful thin uh, border all the way around. Now, when you're you know sticking these sort of projects together, just be very gentle. Obviously, you need to apply enough pressure to hold the glue, but not too much pressure that you're then squashing everything. So, last minute, I decided to put some gems on because it's just it just needed it, and um, put a couple in some of the large butterflies and some scattered some uh, little gems around the place as well so thank you so much for joining me please do go and have a look at the other vloggers uh, this this day and the list will be in the description below and of course if you want to purchase any of the products you've seen me use today then head over to uh, my shop again the link is below and please do subscribe if you like what you see um, it'd be great to get to know you and please leave a comment and tell me what your favorite uh, technique was that I used today and um, hopefully I'll get to see you again soon on my channel so take care and have a great day bye